welcome back and also welcome if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below I'm gonna be doing an up-to-date video on basically what is inside my handbag because I did do one of these when I first started YouTube which was like I think was it after Christmas I think it was like the start of this year you guys seem to really really like it so I thought I would do like an up-to-date one and seeing as I've got a new handbag I want to show you this so basically a company called Teddy Blake and if you don't know who they are Teddy Blake makes designer luxury like leather handbags and they are absolutely gorgeous and guys like this is like I, well, I received this like a couple of days ago, so it still really smells of leather, and I absolutely love the smell of leather. But yeah, anyway, they sent me this handbag for free to try and to do basically an honest review. So you guys know that I really love Primark, so I get most of my handbags from there. So they are like relatively like quite cheap for the quality. But obviously this is like an expensive like leather handmade handbag by Teddy Blake. But um, yeah, I just thought, you know, I'd give it a go because I haven't really got any luxury like handbags. Yeah, I thought I would give this like my honest review on, you know, it. do I think it's worth it? So this is the style I went for and it's like their Eva style. And it's just like really cute. Look at it. How cute is that? But um, yeah, I really do like the style. Like I wouldn't go for a style like this normally. Just because like I love my big handbags where I can just shove loads of stuff in. And then when I want to get anything out, I can just grab it out like with like ease. But this one obviously comes with like this like twisty like little clip that you twist. And then these kind of like straps which is one of the things that I don't actually like about this handbag is that like I just can't like get them off I have to really like push these bits two together to like get it off so just give me a minute here while I just manage to try and undo it okay so I finally got it undone I don't know if it's because it's quite new like I received this a couple of days ago so I don't know if like the leather needs to like stretch a little bit or it could be because I have a lot in this handbag but I don't feel like I have crammed much in it because it's not like the bag is like bulging like at the front or the back when you know you've like literally definitely like put too much in it literally looks like your handbag's pregnant but so yeah I don't know if it needs like to be stretched a little bit more or if like I've just got like a dodgy one where like obviously the straps aren't long enough obviously when it's empty it goes on but um obviously they need to go on when you put stuff in because obviously what's the point of having it but yeah this strap seems to go on all right it's just this one just does not want to ever like seem to go on so that's like one of my first like negative points about this handbag so i don't know if i've got a faulty one or not but you know but then it comes with like this really cute like little tassely key ring thing and it basically comes with like this padlock which obviously when you manage to put like the straps across you can then put the padlock over and then you get like the two little cute keys that you can unlock it with so if you want your bag to be a bit more secure then you know that's quite a nice little idea but um I've just got it on more for just like a little like key ring just because I find that it's hard enough to try and get in this handbag already let alone like with the padlock and everything but I love the cute little handle as well I think that's like really cute because sometimes like this does come with okay I'm just bashing up like my scenery let me fix that right there so as I was set that's gonna annoy me there you go so as i was saying it does come with like these straps that you clip on so you can take these straps like on or off if you want so obviously you can have it over your shoulder but sometimes i find like when you've got quite a few things in your handbag and it gets quite heavy like it's nice to have just like a little hold like hold strap especially like if you're going somewhere it's quite busy and i hate having like shoulder bags where your bags are flapping and bashing everywhere you can obviously keep this in front of you like all nice and safe but um yeah this scarf thing didn't come with this handbag i added it on just because i just liked it but i also really love 
this point of the handbag is that you have these like little metal studs because I hate it when you want to put your handbag on the floor or somewhere but like the bottom just gets all dirty and everything and then I sometimes find the bottom gets really scuffed so I really like how it's got like these little feet so that's quite a nice little like touch and yeah you get these like straps which is really nice these straps though aren't adjustable so it literally just like I'll show you so as you can see guys it goes just like you know between like my hips which is to be honest it's like quite a nice like um like length if that makes sense I would I wouldn't like it if it was taller or lower so I quite like that because then you can kind of hold it there and keep like your bag safe uh, I always have like a hairbrush in my bag just because you girls, you always need a hairbrush in your bag because, like, you never know when you're going to need one. Like, this British weather we have is, like, rubbish. And then I have, like, my little tin, which I think you saw in my last handbag, um, what's inside my handbag video because, like, I just love these cute little tins. So I got this free with, like, a pack of, like, tampons and, um, or should I say, like, sanitary towels. And it basically is, like, this little, like, um, discreet kind of tin where you can, like, keep like your sanitary towels in so i quite like that because like if you open up your handbag nobody can see them because sometimes it's embarrassing like when you open up your handbag and like everything pops out especially if it was one of them on a the counter and you get inserted by like a quite cute little assistant but um yeah the next thing that i've got in my handbag and guys honestly this is like so gorgeous so this is the fern body spray which comes from poundland so obviously Fans brought out her own range in Poundland where she does like eyelashes, body wash, and other things like that. So I've gone for this body spray called Blush O U D, and um, this actually, I wished you could smell it because obviously you're not going to be able to, but you've got to trust me on this. But oh, uh, it just smells lovely, and honestly, guys, it lasts like ages. Like body sprays. I like one of them ones that you spray on and you smell good for like a couple of seconds and then like it doesn't really do anything else but this one honestly like later on in the day I sometimes like get a whiff of it and I'm like mm, that smells nice who's that and then I forget it's actually me but it's just because like body sprays never really obviously last but this one does and yeah I would definitely recommend it and then the next thing I have in my handbag is some like sticky notes just because I used to keep a diary in my handbag, but then I found, like, I never really used it. I usually only use, like, my kind of, like, YouTube diary, as I call it. So, basically, it is, like, a daily diary, and I just keep in, like, loads of sticky notes, actually. And then I put, like, my video ideas. So, like, obviously, I post every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So, what I do is, I just say it's, like, Wednesday, I'll put, like, teddy blake review and then i'll stick that in on wednesdays and then like you know if the days and my plans change i can just swap the notes over for another day so um yeah we're kind of like getting um diverted again here but um yeah i like to keep some sticky notes in my bag so when i do get video ideas i can write them down or if i like suddenly realize i need something and i don't want to forget i can just write it down it's like a bit more like easier and doesn't take up as much room than a big old diary and um if you just heard sneezing a minute ago i do have all the pugs in here at the moment i have grace underneath my chair mario is like right over in the corner and then we've got rose and molly down there like underneath my desk so yeah moving on i then obviously have my purse so i got this purse off ebay that comes from john lewis and that's their john lewis purse range so, because I obviously John Lewis sells other brands, but this is their own brand. And they sell like their purses. So, well, so their purses, like, because obviously this is real leather. I think this one was like, I think they're quite expensive. But I think I won this off eBay for £10. And I actually didn't realise how expensive they were until like the other day when I realised this was looking really a bit tacky. And I thought I would go and grab myself another one. And then I was like, whoa, they're actually quite expensive. And yeah, I did get quite a good bargain. And then obviously, like, the inside, it's basically, like, 
really really big and you've got like loads of spaces for like wallets and then like your change and then also um you've got these little pockets on the side for like receipts and other bits so yeah the next item i have is like this silky scrunchie so this come in a pack of three from like primark and i really like these like scrunchies i find are like really old school like i used to have scrunchies or i I call them scrunchies. I don't know about you, Pugsters, but do you call them scrunchies? I used to wear these at school all the time, and these obviously come back in fashion. And I think these are quite nice to like have on your hand because they look quite pretty than like an ugly hairband. And then when you just want to tie up your hair, you can, but it'll still make your hair look quite nice and pretty having this in rather than a crusty old hairband. So, yeah, one of them. And then I also have this little purse i put this in every handbag that i use so it says i don't do casual on the front i think it comes from h&m for like 2.99 or something and then inside i just keep all like my makeup products so i still can't find like my little compact mirror so i'm still carrying around like this bad boy and like he's like really big and i really need to find or buy a little one seen as like my little nice mirror that i always use like has been missing for like quite a few months now so yeah do you think i need to go and buy like a proper new little one for my handbag and then i also have like you know a tampon in there and then i have this little bronzing like brush where you know when you get a bit sweaty and a bit shiny you can just like touch it up and then also i have my lipstick which i'm wearing now it's the rimmel one in shade 08 yeah, 08, not AE08. And then also I have my favourite lip gloss at the moment. And this is what my sister Georgie and Mia got me and Sienna and Darren for my birthday. And it's the new um, Urban... Oops. The new Urban Decay High Shine Like Gloss. And um, this is so gorgeous, guys. And it's in, like, the shade Dirty Talk. So, yeah, here's a little close-up of the colour. Yes, look at that, guys. It was so nice and shiny. So, yeah, I have that in my handbag also. And then we obviously have, if I can get them out, my car keys and just like a Starbucks club points card thing. A Holland and Barrett one, which I don't think I really ever use. And I always use this. And it's the Pets at Home VIP Pets loyalty card thing again. And then obviously I have my front door key. Because, you know, we need that to get in our house. And then let's just pop them back in their little hidey hole. And then obviously we have my phone. And I've just got like the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge in like emerald green. And then I have this really nice like marbly like um, silicone like case. And I think this is like only $2.99 off eBay. And then I have like one of my like, I can't remember what these are called. For some reason I have pop tarts in my head. And I don't know why. And like last night, it was about one o'clock in the morning and I still couldn't sleep and I was really hungry. So I actually went downstairs and made myself like two strawberry, like sensational, I think they're called, or sensational strawberry, or I don't know what they're called, pop tarts and ate them in bed while like Mickey was asleep next to me. And I was hoping he wasn't gonna wake up because then he'd be like, what are you doing? But um, yeah, pop socket. A pop socket it says it on it. Mm. But yeah, this one's like the proper pop socket brand. And this actually like cost um, like $12.99. And like look already, the heart is starting to scratch off. Yeah, so I've got my phone in here. And obviously, what else have we got in here? Because this bag is actually quite big and you can fit quite a lot in. And um, without overstretching it. But yeah, I have my Ray-Ban sunglasses. So I always keep them in their case just because... To protect them because obviously these are like glass and i don't want them to smash or get scratched but yeah these are just my ray-ban or ray-bans ray-bans oh yeah i'm probably pronouncing this like totally wrong again but yeah there's my um sunglasses but um yeah the next thing i have is some like hair grips and then i also have one of them like you know no kink hair bands in because um like the scrunchie they're quite cool to wear just as like bracelet kind of things and then you know when you want to bun your hair up you can and then i just have some like chewing gum because you never know when you might have smelly breath you need to like refresh your breath then i have some i i can never say this also ibuprofen or just you know you know what i mean and then we have a pen to like obviously write down on my sticky notes 
And then what else do we have in here? Oh, and then we just have some, what is this? Oh, some hand cream. So yeah, that is like literally everything in my handbag. But I'm now gonna go and show you actually what it looks like inside. So guys, inside the handbag actually comes with this quite like big zip up compartment. So I quite like that because sometimes in other handbags they only have like a little one inside their handbag. And I love how it goes from like one side to the other side. So you have like this massive big one. Cause sometimes I like to keep like a lot of things together so then like you don't have everything rattling around in your bag but sometimes the little zip up compartments are too small but obviously this one's really nice and big and then you just have like the little like teddy blake logo in there and then i quite like this also like this is like i'm trying to get it so you can see just seems to always want to go on that side but um yeah so i hate about handbags is that you always get like a little bit for your phone but I think they forget that phones have like started to get like a bit bigger now. So I quite like how this pocket's quite big enough to put like your phone in. And then you have another quite large pocket here. And I like to keep my keys in there. So then when I'm going in and out of the car or whatever, I can just quickly grab them out with having to pull like everything out of my handbag. So yeah, and inside it's like totally covered in suede, which is really nice. And it gives like that really like nice luxurious like feel and look but i do love how the color inside isn't the same as the outside so like i just i just like that i think it makes it look a bit more colorful rather than just like being all white but yeah i really do like this handbag and i've been using it for like a couple of days now and it is really nice and fashionable looking and obviously it smells absolutely gorgeous but um I have had a few compliments on it, like people saying, oh, I love your handbag. And um, yeah, I actually do really like it. Obviously, the only downfalls I don't like is that you can't adjust the strap. Even though, to be honest, this type of handbag, I probably wouldn't want this as a crossover handbag. So I quite like the length of this strap anyway. They have got that right. The one big downfall, I think, is that like this strap, I don't know. I think this is like shorter than the other one. I think like, because like, even look, the i have got nothing in this handbag at the moment i still have to pull this like quite like tight to actually get it over like the hook so i do honestly think that i might have a faulty one because i did go over on to some other people's youtube channels to check out their reviews on teddy bike to see if they had the same problem and no one seemed to so i do think i might have had a faulty handbag here but thank you very much anyway, Teddy Blake, for sending this to me. And guys, I will put a link down below to their website. And also to believe that they sent me like a discount code for you guys um, that I can give you. So if I do manage to find it, I'll put it down below. So yeah, definitely go over and check out their handbags because they do make a smaller version of this. Then they do have other styles. But I wanted to go for something different, which I have. And I'm actually really happy with this. And yeah, so thanks Teddy Blake. And yeah, if you like this video, guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Bye.